What a fucking mess. It's like the place is robbed. Finger on the trick, V. against my will. Mm -hmm. I am Lena Molina, Queen Bitch of Dogtown. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. Guess it's your lucky day. Hey, sweet cheeks, eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a uh, partner, Tool. And here I thought we had a fucked up partnership. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. Ain't looking good. Would look even worse if you can't explain why you're holding this poor Gonk against his will. Jesus Christ. Ah, I should be scrolling. You're thanking myself. My popularity. Mark my words, assholes. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shit hole. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Relives all her BDs. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Wreath was pulling juice while Tool was... Well, B and Lena. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. Your chum needs a ripper stat. Take it you want to get him some help? Ah, no need. Tool will get back to normal in no time. Said you're here. Willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? I don't know. Ah, <sighs> look. Store's barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova. Catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. Your chew loses touch with reality, and you're angling to make a quick Euro buck? Oh, please. Don't need a Merc lecture in me on ethical biz practices. Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Double Gang Banger. Mm hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win win. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What could go wrong? Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content and sparkly packaging. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post-virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. 
more worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Ought to help this poor gonk, not scroll him like some zoo animal. What would you do? Talk to a ripper? Or someone who knows a thing or two about virtues? Hmm. Me out, or did you just come here to jerk off? Huh. Interesting. Dear Lena, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only catch a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Tool. Cute. Started to wish I hadn't burned all my fan mail. Handwritten. Heartfelt, too. Must have been important getting this to her. Are you for real, Edgar? This really necessary? Who the fuck is Edgar? Are you scared? Hmm. He's a stronger kick to shake sense into him. We'll come back to this. Heads up. Better get rid of him before they steal our little starlight. Wanna try talking to him first? Could be Chums of Linus. Once your chrome ripped out of you? No? Then fuck off! Nice digs. Who lives here? The fuck you care. Turn around and keep walking, Chum. It's funny. Placed a bet on the body count lottery, and guess what? Only four bodies away from my lucky number. You're... you're gonna... Shoot the brain. 
kinds of meat production. Shit, there's Lena. If only I Pretend could you're it. someone important. Lay some uh, studio cool on her. Don't need acting pointers from you, Johnny. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you see what happened? They were like this when I got here. Kids, wrong place, wrong time. Sorry for your loss. If they were Jum's years, that is. Ugh, great. What a mess. I'll have to call Melanie, tell her to reopen casting. <sighs> anyway, you want an autograph or something? Okay, let's just tell her where things stand. Tool had an accident, he's delusional, and only meeting Lena will help. If she looks hard enough, maybe she'll find a shred of human compassion within her. Please, Chick's been packaged as a BD product. Last I checked, products don't have feelings. Hey! Wake up! <laughs> like talking to a wall. I'm a talent scout for BD Syndicate, and boy, do I have the perfect role for you. We're piloting a new BD show, and if it takes off and you've got good chemistry with the co-star, we'll dive straight into full production. Whoa, slow down, guy. I might be easy, but I'm not cheap. And I always charge in advance. BD called the passion. Heard of it? Who hasn't? Big premiere, controversy, protest. Sold millions of copies. Worked with the producer, Rachel. Been in the biz for a while. Knew your Mordechka was familiar. You nailed that Jesus freak to the cross. Sorry for doubting you. Had to make sure you were legit. Got no idea how many times I've been conned. I take it we've got a deal? We do. Did you bring me my script? Uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. I'm sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, he'll be waiting for you on location. Uh, got to get ready, do my makeup, nails. Uh, thanks, sweetie. Ciao. are copyright protected, okay? You will be paying me for the rest of your life! Your looks, Fatso? Yours? Bags, shoes, glasses, all custom made. Lina Malina is a registered trademark, you fucking copycat bitch! Okay, like, this is fucking weird. How am I even supposed to act? All right, people. Director on set. Someone's gotta take the reins. So great to have you back. Sending you your lines. Just read them out loud. Okay. Got them. Dear Lina, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only get a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the prime content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Toole. Whoa! You look 
just like Lena Molina. I am Lena Molina. Listen, I know life is hard, and you do stuff to try and escape, like pretending to be someone else. But at some point, you have to accept who you really are. We all do. Am I being punked? Formulaic conventional narratives are so last gen. This is art, okay? A study of the labyrinth of the human soul. With a bunch of amateurs, I'm out of here. Shank, don't sell her any more BDs. Uh, thanks for the help. Settle your fee in a sec. What the? Shank, what the fuck am I wearing? Uh, hey, Tool. Glad you're back. Back? Huh? Fuck do you mean back? Tell you all about it later, okay? No need to drag our uh, customers into this. I can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes you actually manage to do shit right. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Hanson's rabid brutes are at it again. Sorry for interrupting. Name's V. Hans sent me. Brianna, I take it. That's right. People die. Martha. This man here? He'll help us. I'll give you some space. Okay? Yes. Go. And whoever you are, I want you to make him suffer. Sorry. Emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are. Where from. Life in Dogtown? Know it well? Grew up on the road, sleeping neath the stars, sharing campfires with dozens of folks I called family. Can't imagine it's any different here. Worse off you are, more you gotta stick together. Well then, nice to meet you. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving... Which is why I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we've scraped together will buy us justice. Real justice. Justice? Means what to you exactly? Definitions vary. Want to hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason, along with his friends and four other residents. Jason, Caleb, Deontay, Omar, Pharrell, Matthias, Elisa, and Tamika. Rinder's not a Barges soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know is he's brutal, cold blooded, a beast. What's his connection to Hansen? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown. Carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. Why would Ryan be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Rinder in touch with the Scavs. Scavengers? Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz? He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Why kill all these people? Any reason? Evil is evil. It doesn't need a reason. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well... We're still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. I see. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. Feel free to look around. Investigate. There's still plenty of... Uh, traces. Rindo will get what's coming to him. I'll make sure of it. Can tell that to Jason's mother. Good. I will. Now you know what we've been through, V. Don't let us down. Can count on me. Rinder's dog tag. 
bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. I'll do my best. I want Rinder to be scared. Scared to have it all taken away from him. Like he took from me. See these combat souls? Must have run up, boosted on the roof of this shack, bash his leg against a railing. It's a ten foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds. Even dino prints like these. So either we're witnessing the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. It's a riddle, all right. Marks like these. Think it 50 cal rounds. Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker lead spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannick arm? Not a chance. Classic go to for Militic Marines, ex soldiers like Rinder. Scan didn't pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. Someone's been collecting different kinds of lead here. But why? When I was little, after shootouts, we'd race to collect any casings we could find. Traded them between ourselves. Must be some kid's stash. Doesn't tell me anything about Rinder, but I can't complain about knowing a little piece of Johnny Silverhand's childhood. Pile of scrap. Probably laying here for weeks. out on the ground or something not his fist see the blood indentation took some poor fucker's head and bashed it repeatedly it's like he went berserk seems you're looking for a bored out killing machine that's lost all self-control sounds about right
this where Rinder came to do his? An abandoned motel? Oh, crawling with organ clappers. Wonder if we'll find him on the first floor. Or on all of them. Chopped. This is not bit. good! You come out! I'll be nice to you! Vest has got Rinder written on it. And prices on its arms and legs. Scav sold them for parts? No clue. Only thing we do know is the fucker cost an arm and a leg. Hilarious. Let's just find them. Just dog tag, whatever's left of them. Drinking violet. Is it you?
Not our guy. on the walls, blood on the floor, optical on the table, interior decoration, scav edition. Relax, Trum. Let's talk this through. Not about to off an unarmed man, are you? Ryder? Thought you'd look different. More chromed. I'm Ryder, all right, or at least what's left of him. Guessing you're here on contract. Hanson sent you. I'm here in the name of those people you killed at the stacks. What? Hold on. The stacks? I was there. Someone tried to rip me off, but I, I didn't kill no one. I I've got these blackouts. Ain't always present. I'm sick, okay? Sounds like you know more than me. You and Hanson, what happened? Left you on the rocks? You got eyes? Tossed me to rot in the gutter. My tombs too! Eight years I gave that asshole! Eight years. Kid enlisted at 20. Had no excuse. Fuck did he think it'd happen? Stuffing himself with combat wear like a pinata. Matter of time before he burst. You let scavs carve you up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Why? Cause I told him to. What do you think? Sold them my chrome. Might be twisted fucks, but they keep their word. Now you're gonna tell me that hulking slab of a scav that came at me was your ripper? That bumbling buffoon? <laughs> Just proof they can't guard for shit. Everyone's making you out like some crazed killer. A butcher of Dogtown. And here you are hatching weak-ass excuses? 
I'm sick, all right? I wanted to pawn my chrome, collect enough scratch to get treated. Jason was my go-between with the local scavs. And here you are, meaning he did his part. Except you tried to give me the Dogtown Shakedown first. Started waving his big dick iron. Fucking savage. And then... I, I can't remember. Rippers and Dogtown. None of them could help. Say what's ailing you. If they did, think I'd have myself gutted like a fish? Ripping out third-gen combat wear and tripping myself with crooked chrome for what? Shits and gigs? Been doing Hanson's dirty work for years. Tying off loose ends. That all blackout too? Fuck you want me to say? That I admit to all the sins I committed? Remembered, forgotten, and all in between? Fine. I regret it, okay? I regret all the years with Hanson. Joined up when I was just a kid. Kept my head down, followed orders, whatever I did. I'm sorry. As if you know shit about Dogtown anyhow. Dogtown chewed him up, shat him out. Place must be packed with hapless turds like him. Be simpler if it was all Hanson's fault. But that ain't how it works. Took a look at the scene. Only shots fired came from military-grade iron. Kind only you could carry. Then you bashed Jason's head against the ground more than a dozen times. Tossed the rest around like rag dolls. There was blood everywhere. No, it's impossible. I swear, I would've... He's telling the truth. Blacked out, that's why he can't remember. Combine heavy psywear with a short fuse and you've got a perfect recipe for carnage. If it is cyberpsychosis, then maybe there's still hope for him. Thinking Regina. Knew plenty who joined the army to make a quick buck. Hell, was one of them myself. But eight years to sprout a conscience? Nah, fuck that. Put him down? That your solution? Karma had it coming to him. Of course, less you're gonna take pity on every asshole who starts feeling blue. Rinder, these blackouts, violent outbursts, ever consider the possibility you might have cyberpsychosis? Cyberpsy? What, cause I didn't tuck tail when that longsword trash tried to fleece me? Give me a fucking brick! Look at me! What else have I got to lose, huh? They fucked me over, all of them! I used to be a soldier. Look at me now! Had heaps of time to walk away before you dove off the deep end. I was 20, okay? Put my faith in Hanson. Wasn't the first or last. I make everything my fucking fault now? And those whiny bitches I dropped at the stacks? Fuck them! Fuck Dogtown! I'd burn this shithole to the ground if I could, along with everyone in it! Better choose your next words carefully. Listen to me, just listen! I'm expired goods, a walking corpse. You can't decommission me more than this. Tell him Leon Rinder's dead, and you wouldn't even be lying! Do that? The gear I stashed, it's yours. Or no, fuck! I won't beg. Got textbook cyberpsychosis, Chum. You need help. Flicking you a contact, Regina Jones. Call her and ask her for a ride out of here. I don't got no cyberpsychosis. Call her or I end you where you lie. Now. Hello? Yes, I uh I was told I get help. I call this number. It's about uh cyberpsychosis. Yeah. Yeah, sending it now. Wait right here. Happy now? Gonna need your dog tag. Hand it over. Here. Take it. So long. Go already.
It's done. Ranger's dead. You didn't let us down, did you? Didn't let you down. He's gone. For good. I hope he was scared. That he begged for his life. Didn't look too happy. Can tell you that. On behalf of all the residents of the Stacks, thank you. It's the least I could do. V, the target, is he terminated? Took care of him. Congratulations, then. Contract closed. 